Hi. Elizabeth. Hi. How are you feeling? Better. Well, the food here is horrible, but other than that, no complaints. Dr. Hunter says he'll be releasing me soon. Oh, that's great. Is something on your mind? I don't want to burden you, but I feel like you have the right to know. I'm the one who made the mistake that almost killed you. I'm grilling the nurses right now, so I assume we're next. So they're talking to everyone that's worked with Elizabeth. You confirmed it. Elizabeth did make an error in the OR. And she admitted the mistake. She talked to him about it, so case closed. The board has to check for any lapses prior to Siobhan's surgery. Each of us has to make a full disclosure. So the hospital's just gonna let Elizabeth hang out to dry. Is that how we do things around here now? Chief, we can't let this turn into a witch hunt. That is true, but in all fairness, Elizabeth did... It was potentially a fatal mistake. The board will try to ascertain if Elizabeth came back to work too soon. Oh, come on. You had her pushing papers for weeks. They'll be revealing me, too, for both her return to work and the OR. Are you kidding me? They have every right, Patrick. So they're just trying to cover their ass. They'd rather fire somebody than face a lawsuit. I highly doubt anyone's going to get fired, but I do need each of you to go in and tell the truth about Elizabeth's performance. Well, gladly. She's the best nurse I've ever worked with. We're lucky to have her. That's true. I appreciate your loyalty. But this isn't on you to protect her from the board. They have to be able to make a fair evaluation. Excuse me. Steve's right. The board is doing their job. Look, it's terrible what happened to Siobhan, but she made one mistake. You can't drag her whole career over the coals because of it. There are other things you don't know about. And what is that supposed to mean? Um, I've been covering for Elizabeth. During your surgery, I injected your IV with the wrong drug. It almost killed me? It's out of your system now, and you're going to make a full recovery. There's no lasting effects. Why didn't anyone tell me? I didn't even know myself until yesterday. I just wanted you to know. And the hospital board is it's reviewing the incident as we speak. I, I had no idea that you assisted Dr. Hunter in the surgery. Normally, I wouldn't, but the hospital was short-staffed. And, uh, you know, they were on lockdown, and I didn't even know it was you until we got into the operating room. By then, there wasn't enough time to get a replacement. What drug did you give me? It was a concentrated blood thinner. It caused extra bleeding and your blood pressure to drop. How did you fix it? Dr. Hunter did. With his quick response, it saved your life. Siobhan, I am so sorry. I, I, I swear I did not mean to grab the wrong vial. I am just, I am so glad you're going to be okay and make a full recovery. And I didn't know I was that close to dying. Remember that day when the woman came in and her little boy was hit by a car? Elizabeth was comforting her. She was a mess that day and I, I, I had to cover for her at the desk. because you have empathy. And remember when we asked her to work on our project and she nearly bit my head off? And she apologized for being oversensitive. <sighs> okay, what about the scans? If she forgot to order Haven't for you she and... made one serious mistake and she confessed to it. Steven, come here. Uh, so I told Siobhan what happened. And how'd it go? Um, okay, I think she was grateful to you for saving her. Did she understand that it was an honest mistake? I don't know. I don't know. I kept waiting for her to get angry, and she didn't. She just kind of took it all in. But I wanted to apologize to all of you for being so unprofessional. Elizabeth, don't worry about it. You're only human. It's nice of you to say, considering you all have to testify in from the review board. Well, it'll be over soon. Aside from this, you have a spotless record. The board will be lenient. I hope so. <clears throat> um, in, in the interest of full disclosure, and while it's just us here, Remember Sandra Scavula, the patient we had with the severe allergy to penicillin? It was all in her records. However, there was nothing in the admission forms. So I just wondered how that ended up turning out. Yes, I wrote down the wrong information. But I corrected it. And I'm really sorry that I didn't tell you. Hey. 
gotta go. Well, it's kind of hard to tell. Word didn't show much reaction as they answered the questions, but they're in deliberation now. Well, I, I told him you were an excellent nurse and that this hospital means you. So did I. We all did. Oh, yeah. Thank you, you guys. I appreciate it. But I do take responsibility for my actions. I almost killed a patient. I understand if the board fires me. I don't think they'll do that. I hope not, because I love this place. I mean, General Hospital is part of my life. It's probably one of the reasons why I came back to work too soon. I was just hoping it would help me heal the pain of losing Jake. And I'm really, really sorry that I put you all in a position that you had to cover for me. And we're sorry for not realizing what was going on. Hey. Hey. So? The board is suspending you for three months. And when you return, you won't be allowed in the OR for another six months. OK, I mean, that, that's not so bad. Your performance records have been exemplary over the years, and they're putting your errors in context. What about you? Two months probation. It's minor in the scheme of things. I'm so sorry to put you through all this. Use this time wisely, and maybe now you can start to heal. Well, I guess it could have been worse. Yeah. Yeah, yes, it could have. I see smiling faces. Is Elizabeth off the hook for trying to kill me? Losing my... Siobhan, it was a terrible, terrible mistake. That was a damn convenient one, too. Is your ex-husband's new wife lying on the table? What could be easier than getting rid of her and writing it off as a mistake while the rest of the staff lines up to defend you? All right, all right. You know what? This is really not... No, I'm not done. I place. bought you your wounded angel lap, too, till you nearly killed me. If you couldn't clear the path back to Lucky with tears, you were going to do with murder. All right, that's enough. You were counting on the secret of your son's paternity to get Lucky back, but maybe Nicholas was right. Maybe you, maybe you forged the damn test. Oh. So you thought, why not just get rid of me? Okay, I understand. Just to be sure. No, I understand. I mean, after all, you had a built-in excuse. You could put it down to grief. It sickens me the way that you trade off said, poor child's death to get what you want. She tried to get me out of the way. And in the confusion of the lockdown, she saw her chance to kill me. Siobhan, Elizabeth wouldn't have done this on purpose. With all you covering, I may not be able to charge you with murder. But I'll see to it that you pay. Suing the law to get for malpractice. <laughs> <laughs> 